Hi right, guys, uh, Leia FX Model Managers. Um, back after a, a bit of a break um, with a new video and a new project uh, we're currently working on. Uh, and as you can see, um, I did mention it I think a couple of videos or so ago that we're working on something new. And I'm finally at a point where uh, I can talk about it a bit more and show a little bit of it off. As you can see it's a Y-Wing and a very very different Y-Wing. This is actually a replica of the Bill George Y-Wing. Um, a model that's never been replicated before to my knowledge. I don't even think it's been deeply researched. Um, but a while ago the very lovely David uh, Emmerich, thank you David, uh, he shared an absolutely wonderful uh, set of photographs he took of this um, the original model at uh, an exhibit. I can't recall the exhibit, but there she was in all her glory, and he took an absolutely fantastic set of photos. And um, on that set of photos, because I'm almost addicted to um, identifying kit parts and stuff, I just I just enjoy it. I started IDing this model. Um, you know trying to piece together as much of it as I could um, yeah on the premise that I may build it um, so yeah um, I started researching it and I found such a large amount of uh, staple donor kits that we all know and love very very common staple kits easily identifiable um, for the most part um, and then some not so easy, some were a, a challenge. Um, and then in uh, a few conversations with Guy, uh, Guy Cowan of ArchiveX, um, we decided, well, let's go for it. Let's, let's really start and piece this thing together, ID it, uh, get the proportions and, um, and build it. Uh, so yeah, um, I'd got into a healthy. I got to a healthy point of where I knew a lot of the donors, um, you know. So I was able to start, you know, creating a little donor part um, bin, you know, where I put all the uh, all the bits and pieces from the various model kits used on it. Um, and then yeah, it was uh, a case of guy jumping in, and he started doing some work in the computer. Figuring out some dimensions of just the basic uh, hull, you know, uh, just some very, very basic uh, dimensions that we could start working from. Um, and it was sort of agreed, okay, I'll start building it. I just need you to just give me a hand just measuring stuff. And Guy did. He did an absolutely fantastic job. And I'm telling you now, it is hard. It's very hard to get some of the dimensions that are on this model um, correct but we've managed it and that is all down to good parts research um, when you've got a donor part there you know for instance you've got that part here this dark gray part you know this this panel can't really can't really be wrong you know the, the, you know there are various other parts well there's quite a lot of parts on this model that determine the size the angle you know that they're all everything's almost set in stone when you've got that donor part there um you know sadly there is a guy out there a 3d printer who uh actually did call me a prick for um you know all this donor part stuff and relying on it but you know that's that's just being a bit of a stiff idiot you know um you know if you want to be a stiff idiot and call people pricks because all they do is is this kind of research and they kind of know what they're talking about then it's just ignorance you know it is really just ignorance um people like to blow their own uh, trumpets a lot sadly but i was only trying to help the guy he got really uh animated um but this is what donor part research does it tells you so much it gives you so many proportions, you know, I mean, just this little silly wheel here comes right to the edge of this ramp as it does on the original. That's, that's, you know, that, that, that is from good research. These channels here, you know, these are like just uh, plastic ABS channels as they are on the miniature. 
um, the size of those, it all determines this. Everything's, you know, you, you, it's sometimes chicken before the egg. Um, it's tricky, but we've managed it. I mean, you know, some of the, uh, the angles, I mean, there's an angle here on this rear pyramid where it just kisses the top of the ramp, this top ramp, and then just comes to the edge of this green part here and the grey part from the 88 mil. That's all about perfect. And that is all determined on kit parts. You know, there's no other science there. It's determined on kit parts. You know, the height of this front ramp is determined by this green part here. Everything is determined by them. So, you know, we're not talking out of our asses when we're telling people research the parts or use this part. You know, we're not trying to be ourselves. We're actually trying to help you. Um, but yeah, anyway, I digress. Um, but yeah, I'm finally at a point where I can show this, um, which is just a culmination of just a lot of hard work by uh, me and Guy. Um, it's just been a case of uh, do-overs, remeasuring. Um, I mean, this, this hole here, this main hole, this is actually the second version uh the first version wasn't quite right in the shoulders um and one thing i've noticed um way way back i always used to use ca when i was uh, scratch building with uh, styrene um but it's it's tricky you know if you set something incorrectly with ca it's stuck already it's really hard to uh, realign um but obviously now you know these days i use solvents only um and working with solvents solvents likes to uh, solvents like to pull some of your lovely 90 degree measurements out of alignment so that was a that was a, a job in itself and that's why we ended up with a v2 hole there were a few areas i wasn't quite happy with there um i mean this the, the wings are next up this is at these were actually done today this is actually the third set of wings i've cut <laughs> because um yeah it, it's determined by kit parts but then you've got to get this length right the lower length right and then also try and get a fairly neat radius into the engine which the engines on this model are built very differently bill actually built this um it's so different to an a new hope y-wing it I, really guys it is so so different uh the hull itself is actually longer flatter it's probably a bit you know a bit sleeker in places um yeah it's such a different animal uh when you when you're researching and building it so many different angles and yeah really fun but it was so so nice to jump into something fresh and new and really exciting actually you know i mean i love y-wings i absolutely adore the y-wing and um the bill george model it's always been something i'd loved to have had a, a crack at but the reference uh, the reference material just wasn't out there you know there wasn't a lot um publicized on it um so yeah um we kind of got here and i did a very cheeky sneaky thing i actually contacted uh, bill and bill uh he has been an absolutely just amazing help uh to us on this i can't thank bill george enough i mean it's it's one thing to talk uh to you you know one of your almost almost childhood heroes growing up you know you know some people they adore actors you know uh, we, we guys that do this you know we we, we uh, really lord the model makers and um yeah it's been very humbling and just absolutely amazing talking to bill in regards to the you know this uh, his original model um you know how and why it was created uh the small changes that were made from bill's original um, depiction that to, to then make it into a, a studio filming uh, model um, you know such as fitting an armature etc um, but Bill has been such a you know a huge help a really huge help this couldn't have been possible without Bill's help and I'm very humbled to have been um, you know that he, he we we exchanged some emails and it was 
you know, it's a little bit weird. I don't get starstruck or anything like that. I think this is probably one of the only times I've ever been kind of, you know, squealing like a little girl. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, it's just something new, very exciting. And um, yeah, quite proud of uh, myself with what we've uh, done so far. And also just this massive pat on the back to Guy. Some absolutely amazing parts finds on this. Uh, we're about, honestly, we, we are literally about probably 98.9% .9 there. There's literally a couple of parts or so that we're just um, head scratching on at the moment. Um, but she's super damn accurate in the kit part um, um, area. Uh, but also then in proportions and dimensions, she's super accurate. Um, it's had its um, it's had its hair, hair hair pulling moments. You know, some of it has been really frustrating. Um, the neck is one area that has been a uh, quite a challenge. Um, obviously, this this is all styrene work here. Uh, Bill actually created the eight rad as we know it. You know, the uh, side of the New Hope Y wing is uh, the eight rad uh, armored car chassis. Well, this is all done in styrene. He's replicated that chassis and replicated it so well. It's it's amazing work and uh yeah it was really challenging but fun to recreate these these neck sides um yeah very uh entertaining and you know filing all the notches in some of the small donor parts you know re really fun work um just adding those these are actually taped on at the moment because these come away from the main neck block um but uh, yeah, really enjoyed doing that. You know, it was uh, it was fun to get the neck um, together uh, along with the you know the uh, the astromech um, block, which will have a uh, it's an R five unit sat in there. Uh, shoulders also a challenge. Uh, really, really tricky uh, job to get aligned well. Uh, I think I ended up around about a millimetre out on that shoulder here. But because the original model isn't symmetrical from side to side, you kind of have to um, sanitise some areas. Um, yeah, ju just for the sake of getting that right. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not into recreating anything unsymmetrical. I want to try and sanitise it and just build it my way. Um, but also getting it as close to what Bill created um, so magnificently way, way back. Um, coming around to the butt, actually has got an absolutely lovely butt. I mean, that was insane to create. This, this area here was really challenging, really challenging. This top pyramid, very, very simple, really easy to... Um, get the angles and the dimensions from the kit parts that are adjacent and you know and actually mounted here uh, it's when you start coming down here and then into these facets that that got really challenging but again um we've tried to keep the build where we can see a styrene join we've emulated that styrene join so we've tried to build this as identical to the order that Bill built the original as possible, you know, so where, you know, this joins to the outer edge of that, that's, you know, replicated. So everything is, is as close as we can possibly, possibly get. Um, so yeah, that, that, that again, that also that's been the challenge because then you have to start cutting stuff, you know, for instance, if you measure down to there and you come a mill short, you can't glue it to the outside. You've got to glue it to the inside. You know, you know silly things like that, that, you know, you, you end up cutting a sheet of styrene about three or four times because your brain's not in gear and you just, ah, I didn't add a millimeter there to, to make, create that join. So yeah, yeah even that gets <laughs> kind of tricky. Um, but yeah, really had fun with that. Um, that, that was a, that was a lovely area to work on. And this here, I adore this, um, Bill, added now I, I don't know I, I, maybe I'd have to ask Bill himself but these panels these plates I zoom in they're these Corellian 
almost falcon style plating which obviously isn't on the original A New Hope Y-Wing um, but Bill added them and I'm, I do wonder sometimes did, did Bill add those because he saw images of the falcon and thought they looked cool I don't know but I love them that they, they add so much character to this area here I mean when this thing is primed you know these little silly notches and stuff they're kind of pop they're just gonna yeah wow so yeah really enjoyed that I, i'm sorry i'm getting a bit nerdy but yeah i just i love that that's so different so cool even the angle of it you know the the, the angle of this back section is just so much more aggressive uh it's just got a wonderful sleek shape to it and yeah i mean that is about you know the the profile of her in a nutshell um obviously you know the usual vintage saturn 5 cans these aren't actually legs eggs they have the exact same profile as the legs egg but i wasn't going to mess around with trying to cut legs they just shatter and crack and yeah yeah so uh, these are actually uh generic uh you know copies but the the profile is the same uh, they just need a, a small nipple at the front uh, that you fill in so those are all roughly about profiled in now um and the next job now which will probably be tomorrow um he's actually working outwards along the wings now um as i said i've added these uh drums and we'll start working out with the kit parts here and the uh piping and stuff there's a lot of plating and notched plating that's on the wings which again fantastic uh i actually watched um uh one of Stu, uh, Stu's uh, videos uh, the other day on his Falcon with him using the Nibbler. And I hated the Nibblers years ago, but I, I've actually bought myself one for doing the wing uh, plates. Um, it might make it a little bit more, um, less time consuming actually cutting and filing them. I mean, they'll still have to be filed in, but hopefully I can cut them a little bit quicker. Um, uh, another special mention here, actually, um, Flint, Flint Tarizaga over in the US. Buddy, I can't thank you enough for the part you uh, you sent out and gave to me to use on this build uh, from the uh, the F1 car, the Tyrrell. Um, I've got your parts here to return, which I'm also returning with a little surprise for you. Um, just something to say thank you, because honestly that really helped me out buddy and i really appreciate it so uh your parts are bagged up i just need to get them out but um i think i might put them in a box with something else for you just to say thank you because honestly it, it's uh yeah that was a really nice uh, gesture um, um yeah very very cool of you so thank you um and yeah, I mean, you know, that that that's about... Oh, yeah, I've, I'm forgetting myself here. Um, before I move into the next little segue, um, nice little surprise for this model. And I'll just get it out of the box now, because the lovely John Simmons, the ever-lovely Essex boy John Simmons, <coughs> he sent this to me the other day. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's just a, a random Y-Wing canopy. Um, but this isn't a random Y-Wing canopy. This is actually an ILM cast. Uh, I think it's about third gen canopy. And this is going to be cleaned up and made beautiful and perfect. I think this was cast by uh, John Stewart. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to clean the uh, bejesus out of this. And that will be the canopy that will be going on this model. So we've got a little bit of ILM thrown into it as well, which is really awesome uh, because obviously uh, Bill's, you know, the original model uh, does have this canopy mounted on it, um, as well as a few other little changes that were ILM cast uh, parts added to it when it became an actual filming miniature. Um, and then lastly, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to break it down a little bit. Um, because this isn't going to be uh, a one-off um, scratch build. Okay. Uh, we have plans for this. Um, 
Ed Francais, who is probably the most amazing resin caster I've ever seen in my life, and just all round awesome guy, he's going to be uh, casting this because this has actually been created as a set of master patterns. Um, so these are the engine cans with a simple shelf support. Obviously, there's still a lot of work to be done on the uh, the engines. So off come the engines and then off comes the neck. OK. So that's our neck. Obviously, these eight red pieces, they'll be coming off. Um, these are the wings I uh, recut today, so still a lot of work to be done there, but that's all going really well. Then we have the top ramp. Okay, so it's still quite a bit of work on every section of the model to be done, you know, clean up and and whatnot. But that's the top ramp, and then we come round to the butt, and which that just pops off there okay that locates on the back and then out comes your wing bar so those are the main pieces of the hull at the moment so we can uh, break it down into a modular set of patterns so what we're looking at is this will not be a model kit yeah i've got no time for just doing model kits it's just uh yeah no so the plan is for this girl is to be a very 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 limited finished piece and uh yeah quite proud of that because it's uh I feel, I feel a little bit special being a part of it, if I'm honest. Um, it's been wonderful to speak to Bill and you know hear more about the model. And, yeah, being able to... Um, oops, that's the wrong side. And being able to get this thing as insanely accurate as it can get. Yeah, why not... Um, why not make it a, a really limited replica? But obviously a, a lot more... Oops, oops. Tape's falling off on my domes. Uh, but obviously, um, you know, more to come on that later. There's still a, there's still a ways to go. Um, and I'm hoping... I don't know what the month is, uh, what the date is. I have no idea, actually. Um, yeah. No, I'm not sure. Uh, but I was hoping to have the master patterns done by the end of the month, which mm, you never know. Uh, you know, I might I, I might actually be able to get there and have these master patterns done by the end of the month. It, it is possible. Uh, if I can just uh, really slog at it now. We've had some really hot weather here in the UK and it's um, it's been very hard to... Uh, yeah, concentrate on uh, doing this kind of work in this heat. <laughs> it's been driving me crazy. But yeah, hopefully, uh, end of the month or so, I can finish these. Uh, ne next up, the, the you know the most major work next up is the cockpit, um, which is going to be a case of again using a lot of adjacent kit parts. The canopy I've received from John. Thanks again, John. You know all of that, taking it all into. Uh, into account to um, get the cockpit also as dimensionally accurate as uh, as is you know feasibly possible. So uh, yeah, guys, there you have it. That is true scratch building, true parts research, lots of fun, very hard work, but um, it's really rewarding. Really, really rewarding. It's just wonderful to see it come together, and uh, it's it's just been a, a joy to. Um, 
do this kind of work alongside Guy again because we haven't done a project together like this for many years. I think the last one we did really was the probe droid or, or maybe the welding droids. Yeah, this, it's been really fun. Really enjoyed it. So, um, yeah, more to come on this, guys, as we uh, as we progress and I get into, you know, completing the whole Wings Engine Masters. And then um, I think the next time you guys see this, it'll probably be with the cockpit, with the wings fully finished, um, all, you know, possible... Um, plant on donors on there i mean obviously there are a, there's quite a few such as the parts that go along these shoulders that you know there are a, there's a fair number that can't be actually on the master they've got to be cast separately so we can keep all the undercuts and and super fine detail um in those rather than just having them clayed up and planted on looking ugh, um a bit rough but um yeah the next update should see this um really taking shape anyway guys thank you very much for watching um really do appreciate it any questions don't hesitate um one thing i will say we're not sharing donor information on this model at the moment um it's been a lot of work i've been at this for a few months hard now i mean i'm a few months sometimes in a filming miniature is not a long time i've been at this daily for months now every day you know it, it's been yeah if i've not been cutting styrene and modifying kit parts and cutting kit parts to fit i've been researching kit parts and yeah it, it's been a daily grind for months uh now um oh, you know since since david uh posted those photos i've been at this pretty much every day so um yeah at the moment we're not sharing any information like that you know it's uh it's up to other guys that do want to build it to jump in and do that research which we're all capable of that aren't we anyway guys thank you very much for watching and um i'll see you all soon